All right. So here we are. Which way is the wind going to blow, right? There's so much in the energies of the world, the cosmos, the political scene, everything. And it can just churn up a lot of energy in you. We're also at that time when we talk about the veils are thinning. The energy between the physical and the non-physical are starting to thin and we're starting to kind of open up to a deeper part of us. We open up to that unseen realms of possibility. So all of it can be a little unsettling. All of the shifts and changes as we were talking about before we hit record, like when we let go of something, there is a lot of emotion sometimes. Maybe not, maybe we're glad to get rid of it, but honoring what we're feeling and going through, but allowing ourselves to notice where it's lifting us up to that next place can help all of us in the energy. It's not like we want to bypass what we're feeling, but we don't want to kind of hang on and let it stick and be stuck in our energy field. We want to allow ourselves to process the energy. So I think Reiki is a great way to do this. Reiki keeps our energy moving. It helps us come back into balance and it has this innate instinctive ability to work in areas that need it. It kind of goes where it's needed. So even if we're not exactly sure what needs to be worked on, the energy of Reiki can just run through us, help us to realign. And most importantly, as we work with the energy in body, be grounded back into the root chakra, back into our self, which is going to help all of us move through this time period. It's going to get intense these next couple of weeks. We don't even know what to believe anymore, right? Careful how much news you watch. That's always a good thing. But allowing yourself moments to just come back into center and really ask yourself, okay, is this my energy? Is this what I'm feeling? Is this what my choices are? can help you really understand more and more of where you fit into everything going on. I have to say, I need to post on this. <laughs> I binged listen to the Reiki Summit as an affiliate. I already have the early bird in there and so much great information. If you haven't signed up, you can get the early bird and own it and listen to it at your own time or it starts in November. Either way, join in. There's so many great speakers coming forward and new perspectives on working with Reiki. And even for someone like me that's been doing this since the late 90s, I was like, wow, I didn't know that. Wow, I didn't know that. And bringing forward some of the original people that sat with, with Mrs. Takata, that learned from her, that helped to get information out back when there was no internet. So quite fascinating interviews coming up. Definitely check it out. So today, as we move through the meditation, we'll open up as we do. We'll start sending Reiki out. And if you are Reiki tuned, which all of you are, just go ahead and put your hands on the different positions or just on your heart, wherever you want. So not only are you getting the energy that we're sending all around to each of you, but also your own ability to work with the energy. And then as we finish, we're going to say, okay, do I feel my energy? That's what we want to be able to notice with everything going on in the world. All right, so let's begin by calling in the elements, finding something to light. We will have some moments of silence to just be in that vibration of energy. So calling in the element of fire, noticing that spark within you, calling in your energy, your soul, noticing the element of air, clearing the space, clearing the mind. Today is a new day. Calling in the element of water to wash through our emotions, to open the heart, keep the energy flowing. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, feeling all these sacred elements. Take a nice deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just call all your energy back into you. Call it in. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. Exhale, begin to align your energy, calling in the spiritual body to align right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental bodies, centering. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, dropping into the heart, right into the deepest part of your heart, feeling that connection your spirit and the greater spirit, source, God, creator. Know that you are loved, guided, protected, feeling all this energy coming in around us as we call in our Reiki master teachers, those that have come before us, calling in the angels to open the heart with joy and love, calling in the crystal beings for amusement, magnification, 
calling in your higher self right above the crown to receive the messages for you. Taking another deep inhale and exhale all the way down as we notice this great wheel of life. Here we are in this energy of the thinning of the veils, the season of the fall. We find ourselves in the direction of the west where the sun sets each and every day, noticing the cycles of life, the letting go, noticing our struggles, yet honoring the growth for the year. Calling in the directions to the west, the north, the east, and the south, above us, below us, right into the very center, feeling into your heart. Setting an intention to feel grounded, centered, allowing energy to flow, knowing your light, your energy. Taking another deep inhale and exhale. So begin to call in the energy of Reiki. Sending it out to each of you, Han Chin Se Shonen, Han Chin Se Shonen, Han Chin Se Shonen. Allowing the crown to open as you begin to bring this energy right in through the body. Allowing yourself to feel this flow, this light. Moving through the chakras, the crown opens your own divinity, your own connection with spirit. Noticing the tingling, the warmth, the sensation. As it mar starts to move through the body, opening the third eye center, your intuition, your knowing, activating the source of light for you. Feel the energy coming in through the crown, opening up the third eye, the back of the head, opening up the ears, the smelling, the sensing. Allowing it to flow right through you. Allowing the energy to continue moving, opening up your throat, the back of the neck, let it all move through. All this insight, knowledge, opening up your will, your word. The way in which you express how you show up. Breathe. Notice, take a deep inhale, exhale. Allow the energy of flow to move right into the heart, the chest, the back of the heart, releasing old emotions, Allowing the heart to be centered with love, forgiveness. Take an inhale. Notice the exhale. Notice the inhale. Receiving for yourself. Breathe. Allowing for this presence of light to move all the way through you. Moving into the solar plexus, clearing your power right at the navel center, golden light. Releasing any energy that's not yours, sending back to all that you've collected, family, friends, partners, let it all go so your source of light is strong in your power. Creating a little more ease and effortlessness in your daily routines. Bring all this energy all the way through, dropping into the sacral energy your creative force, your passions, your desires, your sexual energies, the evolution, the womb. Sensing a beautiful orange light inspiring you for your path today.
allowing this energy to flow all the way down to the base of the spine, the legs, the knees, the feet, all the way down, connecting you at the source of Mother Earth, feeling that sense of being grounded right here, right now, just for today. Just release anything at all that isn't serving. Sahaki, sahaki, sahaki. Imagine it flowing all the way down through the legs and the feet, transmuting back into Mother Earth. More. Reiki coming in, filling up what's been released. You know, just receive wherever you need to go back to. Maybe there's an area you want to place more attention to. Allow the hands to be guided as we allow ourselves to be in this energy all around us, magnifying it through each of us. Take a deep inhale and exhale, bringing the awareness right to center. Just lifting up in the perineum, tongue goes to the roof of the mouth, increasing this flow of energy all the way through you, staying focused. Hands can be on the body, off the body, and even if you'd like coming into the gaucho position, namaste mudra, receiving messages, ask, what do I need to know? Staying very focused right in the center.
And now just bring in the hands into the kanji three, which is the fingers are crossed, folded together, thumbs right on top. And right here, just asking yourself, is this my energy? Am I grounded in me? What is my light? However that resonates with you, notice how that feels, the message that comes in for you, the vibration of light, the strength of the body. Taking another deep inhale and exhale, charging up the aura all around you. Let this radiate out all around you from your heart, your strength, your core. We seal this in all for the highest good. Shogure, shogure, shogure. Breathing all the way down. Feel yourself grounding, feet on the earth. Noticing the heart. Noticing the third eye. Feeling this vibration. You can come back to it any time. And now just tapping all this energy into the body. Right the eyebrows. I am present. Jaw, cheeks. I am right here. Just for today, just moving through the points. I am healthy. I am present. Eyebrows. I am. I am. I am just for today. Letting go of worry. Just for today. In the present moment. Just for today. Honest with myself. Just for today, I honor my path. Just for today, I am grateful for all the many blessings. Just for today, right here, right now, I am healthy, happy, finding gratitude. I am just for today, right here right now karate chop choosing to love myself no matter what release the hands take a nice big stretch breathing up the body exhale all the way down hands at the heart feeling the gratitude for your path your light gratitude for your spirit connecting with the greater spirit Gratitude for showing up for you. Inhaling and exhaling, grounding, noticing how this feels to be in body, your body. Have a great day to your spirit. Namaste.